This is a, a poem that uh, we're putting on the first page opposite her introduction <coughs> to this poem. The lone actor, she called it. Like the lone ranger. <laughs> <coughs> an American woman. It's called Crystal Ball. And her poetry is uh, the size of the I do. <laughs> I, she's, she's, her ideas. To the witch she did go she to find out what the future holds. The secret of the following story. I do find and within it dwell, for there is the key that opens the door to the great mystery and the future you will see. But hark, if in present time you cannot dwell, you'll have no future to foretell. Trapped in the past to all these people. So she went forth to dwell in present time. But alas, present time, like the divine, is most difficult to find. The handbook of theater games for the solo player learn to enter present time, no matter what is going on around you, through a direct, right now, experience. Present time is used here as not clock time, as a moment of full consciousness, awareness, continuous time, a timeless moment, whether seconds, minutes, or hours, with all of your responses awake and alert, ready to guide you and come to your aid, free of past do's and don'ts, should I or shouldn't I? In present time, a path is open to your intuition, closing the gap between thinking and doing, allowing you, the real you, your natural self, to emerge and experience directly and act freely, present to the moment you are present to. Then she gets some advice. You, the real you, must be sane. There are many facets to your birth, basic persona, unknown even to you, that may come forth become visible. You, the unique, invisible, unknown, must emerge, be seen, and connect. Her next chapter is called Five Obstacles to a Direct Experience. One is the approval-disapproval syndrome, the way we're raised by trying to please others, figuring out what they want you to say and how they want you to act, and then doing so with as much skill and originality as possible. If you do this, your approval-disapproval syndrome is highly active. You follow me? We're raised that. <coughs> You're wrong. Go to, the, go to the class. This and that. There's a, the, the teachers and the parents who control. Like the army, in a sense, is much more but we're all raised in this way. And she says, we've learned that, and the trick is to break it. She says, if you are in approval, disapproval, you are not only prevented from having a direct experience, but blind to what a direct experience is. And then she says that the approval, disapproval, will monitor behavior, watches working on you and having guests for dinner, meeting people, or in a new situation. Observe the roles, the cover-ups in you and those around you, shown by attitudes and what comes out of every mouth. Hostility, envy, competitiveness, put-downs, resentments, sarcasm, you name it. What we verbalize as our own are the controls that tie and bind, keeping us earthbound and the victim. <laughs> it's called Into Your Space. I like the use of space in the listening is talking about today. Into Your Space. <laughs> it's as I'm in the space. Well, it's what I did. There is something. The mysterious, magical creator comes from beyond our daily reality and will not or cannot respond until you are in communion with the as yet unknown, your intuition, your ex -area. The key, get out of your head, into your space, and await the invisible stranger. 